Forest River Motorized presents Understanding Solar Panels and How They Work. Over the past few years, many Forest River motorhomes have been equipped with solar panels. Despite their increasing popularity, one of the biggest misunderstandings is how solar panels work and what functions they can perform. Simply put, the only thing that solar panels do is charge your house batteries using energy from the sun. Components and utilities in your RV, like your air conditioners, TVs, refrigerator, hot water heater, etc., are not powered by the solar panels themselves, but rather by shore power if plugged into a power source, your generator, or the house batteries. So how does sunlight get converted to usable energy? The solar panels take in the sunlight, then the energy goes from the solar panels into a charge controller. The charge controller's purpose is to allow the batteries to charge as fast and efficiently as possible while not allowing the batteries to be overcharged. As components and utilities are being used, the batteries will lose their charge. As long as the energy from the sun and solar panels is greater than the energy that is being lost from the batteries, you will not run out of energy for your batteries. However, if the rate of discharge on the batteries outpaces the amount of solar energy being taken in, your batteries will drain and you will not have usable batteries. It is important to understand that just by adding extra solar panels to your motorhome does not guarantee that you will have enough battery power for all of your needs. What is important is having a large enough battery bank or enough amp hours in your batteries for your solar panels to not lag behind and create an energy deficiency. Forest River recommends that you monitor your battery levels on a consistent basis to ensure that you have enough power to properly enjoy your motorhome. So after understanding how solar panels work, the next question is, how much solar do I need? Many variables contribute to answering this question so it is not cut and dry. Things we cannot control, like the weather or the time of day, are two key variables that affect this answer. If there is no sun, there is no new energy for your panels. Other variables include which parasitic draws are present. Parasitic draws are the electrical components that consume electricity even when they are not in use. Examples include your TV antenna booster, LP gas leak detector, clocks and stereos, and plugged in TVs or appliances, etc. Next, you'll have to determine what your goal for the solar panels are. Do you want them to just offset this previously mentioned parasitic draws, top your batteries off during storage, or have a surplus of energy while using your RV? So for this example, let's take a basic 200 watt solar setup with dual RV house batteries totaling around 180 amp hours on a partly sunny day. In the best case scenario, a setup like this would be perfect to take care of the parasitic draws, lights, TVs, water heater, and an RV refrigerator during the day. However, if more energy were to be used by other utilities or components, an energy deficiency would result. For instance, you would not be able to run your air conditioner, microwave, curling iron, hair dryer, or toaster oven with this solar setup. To offset that balance, more solar panels or more batteries would likely be needed. Now let's take that same example of our 200 watt solar setup with dual RV house batteries, but now it is nighttime, so the solar panels will not be producing energy. It is important to look at your battery level and determine which utilities or components are not 100% necessary. Leaving lights or TVs on, using your water heater, leaving your water pump on, or running your refrigerator on the coldest setting would likely drain your batteries by morning. Using your stored energy from the day to charge your devices, use a CPAP, or sparingly use lights might be a better use of your battery bank and would ensure you would have adequate battery life in the morning. These charts show on average how many amp hours your DC and AC components and utilities use. Please consult your owner's manuals on how many amp hours your batteries have so you can make sure your off-grid capacity fits your lifestyle. Not all campers have the same electricity needs for their Forest River motorhome, so some trial and error may help you decide on how many solar panels are right for you. Be sure to check out all of Forest River service videos on our YouTube page in the link below.